Hey guys, happy Thursday. So about a week ago, I was asking, should I get a car? Should I buy a car or shouldn't I buy a car? I haven't had a car for 18 years. Do I want a car? No. Did I get a car? I don't know. We'll see. We're going to have a unboxing or we're going to see a bunch of dirt where a car should be. Um, and we're going to get to that in a second. Guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCoastRicanow.com. Travel Coast Rica now is a travel agency. So go to TravelCoastRicanow.com. Fill out the four minute form. Be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you. Where are you? Having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's helpful. If you want to see videos as we put them up, hit the notification bell. Uh, I know you probably won't see this, but you know, we're still getting ready to start our high season, you visitors to Costa Rica. But if you happen to come upon this video and you need a rental car, it's getting late. It's already expensive. They're already expensive. They're only going to be more expensive. But I do have a guy. This transparent price is good car, good service, and probably cheaper than what you'll find it for, but it will still be kind of pricey. So go to TravelCoastRicanow.com, scroll down, and fill out the quick car rental form. And before we start, guys, I'm sorry I don't have you know, sponsors to pay me or you know for ads. So we do have another relocation retreat coming up. We've got the new dates, and i got to tell you, man, we just put up the dates. We've already sell sold six tickets. We only sell 20. I know that doesn't sound like much to you, but this thing, this relocation thing is getting bigger for two reasons. One, we're getting better and it's getting to be, it, it's good. The relocation retreat is good. But the other reason is because a lot of people are tired of where the world is going and they're going to take matters into their own hands. Even if they've never been to Costa Rica, this is a crash course, six days. You know, everything, the good, the bad, the ugly of living in Costa Rica. And at the end, you'll either be like, hey, Costa Rica is right for me, or it's honey, we're going to Belize. Both things are good. So anyway, it's a six-day uh, event. All that info is in the is in a link in the description of this video. All right, I would love to see you there. I think we're going to be doing more of them, man. We're going to be doing more of them. All right, so let's see. I'm going to open the door, and there's either a car sitting out there. Or there's a bunch of dirt, but I'm all, you know, I got to do the video because I asked it and now, you know, I'm kind of answering the question. So make your guesses. I haven't had one for 18 years. One of the reasons I haven't had one in 18 years is because my, my ex-partner in crime, D'Angelo, did have a car. I did have access to it if I really needed it. We did a lot of things together. But did things change? I don't know. Let's see. Dirt or car? I got it, man. I did get a car. Did I want to get it? No, I didn't. It was weird how it happened. Now, one thing about me, guys, that you probably don't know or actually don't care about is, I don't know, I should shop around. I should comparison shop. But what happened was I was in Ciudad Casada. That's an hour away from where I live in La Fortuna. I was doing some lawyering with my friend Johnny. This is his car, his wife's car. And I knew he was selling it a couple months ago, and we kicked it around a, a, a little bit. I asked him one question. That's what it is. It's a Suzuki, Vitara, whatever. So I said, what do you think about selling your best friend a car? Would you feel good about that? Would you feel good that you're selling your best friend a car, knowing that if something goes wrong, I'm going to blame you? <laughs> and he said, yes. Yeah. So we're in, we were in a lawyer's office doing something else, not a car. We started talking about this. Next thing I know. Why we're in the lawyer's office, you know, she's, she's uh, writing up papers to transfer the car to me. We make a deal. It's over. I got a car. I did not comparison shop at all, which you guys will probably give me crap for. You'll probably go, oh, Micah, Suzuki's terrible, or, or you could have got a better car. You could have done this. Now, I'll break down the video at another time, maybe about the cost, but just roughly new tires, new brakes, new wipers, all the oil stuff changed. Uh, not low miles, but lower miles. This is a 2017, uh, $20,000. I'm sure a lot of you will tell me if that's good or not, and you'll be making fun of me or whatever. Uh, probably should have started a GoFundMe. I do not want to add to my, um, let's check out my driveway. <laughs> Boy, if that isn't a, if that's not a little, uh, accident waiting to happen right here. And you know what? I got car insurance. The car insurance did run me. I got full coverage for $780 a year. 
I don't even know if that's good. I just knew it was convenient to do it when I did it with the help of Johnny. I was getting all this stuff. So uh, the reason I decided to get the car, I don't think we have to go inside. <laughs> Is because one, the relocation retreats, pretty basic, really. Um, and it's manual, so nobody can steal it. <laughs> I love manual. Uh, so I am doing with the relocation retreats, we're going to be doing more of those, not less. I might be going, you know, the relocation retreat is five and a half hours or about five hours for me. I've been going to San Jose more. I've been doing a little bit more traveling, and I'm tired of shared shuttle. I'm tired of paying a private driver. I'm tired of not stopping when I want to stop. I'm older now. I, I told you before I get a little anxiety. I want to be able to stop when I want to stop. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, and then when I have, when I'm driving, I don't have the anxiety at all. And I don't really have to stop. But anyway, I decided that moving forward, I'm probably going to need it. I will not drive it around. I still got my trusty bike. This bike will be taking me to the grocery store in Fortuna, to the gym in Fortuna, to the bank in, in Fortuna. So I will not, even if it's raining, see, I got my umbrella ready to go. I'm not going to I'm not going to get lazy and go let me get in the car cuz it's raining. This car will be sitting here unless I'm going on like a road trip or I got to use it for going to see that Casado or the relocation retreat or San Jose or places like that. So anyway, again I'll break down and it's white. It goes with my t-shirts. Check it out. Look at that. That's a match. So anyway, guys, I did get it. Broke down. I'm kind of sick about my cost of living has, has risen. And then Johnny goes, you know, Marchamo's coming up next month. That's the monthly or that's the yearly taxes you got to pay on your car. And that's probably going to run me $500 at, yeah, hmm, already accruing costs. So anyway, that sucks. But uh, I got to do what I got to do. And this will be my probably last big purchase. And I'm sure it'll last as long as I do because... It's got at least another 100,000 miles, if not more, in it. So, Anyway, guys, that's it. I did get the car, so were you right? I think I was going to get it. I didn't. <laughs> it just happened to be in a lawyer's office. It just worked out. And that's how I do everything. When I go into the store, I know what I'm getting. I don't even comparison shop. I need that thing. I'm getting it. And that's it. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Lon, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Um, Things are going to pop up. Thinking about living or traveling anywhere, always do your homework and research. And if it's anything to do with Costa Rica, I'm going to put our videos up against anybody's. Now, if you, if you do end up buying a car in Costa Rica, maybe you should do a little bit more homework and research than I did. Because maybe me and Johnny won't be friends after this. <laughs> Have a good one.